Quick, like and subscribe for insane luck in every game. What is going on everybody? I'm back making another video and in today's video we are playing update number seven of Pet Simulator 99. Like I said in my previous video, I've been pretty busy this week and my internet's not good enough right now to actually live stream. So I'm just going to make a few update videos for you guys. I'm gonna try to get out some extra videos to make up for not doing a stream. So yeah, here is the update, but we're gonna read over everything in the actual change log. So let's go over to the big games website update seven we got a limited time saint patrick's event and there's an egg at the end of the rainbow the event starts in world one and will happen every four hours starting at 12 p.m central standard time so 57 minutes from now catch the egg at the end for the huge clover fairy and then also rebirth number five we now have the ability to hatch secret pets which is probably going to be the highest tier of stat pets like it was in pet simulator X. I don't think Secret Pets is going to be like a huge or a Titanic or anything. We also get Area Quest, where we can complete quest in every area for special rewards. We get an extra shiny chance boost, another 75% more pet damage, a bunch of rewards. There's Rebirth number 5. 24 new areas, starting with Frosted City and ending with Alien Lab. Many new machines, mini games, and rewards. A bunch of new pets. 7 new huges, by the way. 24 new areas. Egg. Here's a new boss chest in the egg incubator. New currency, tech gold coins and tech gold bars. New ranks, rank 22 through 24. Okay, so we got a lot of new ranks to grind. New upgrades, ultimate XP, pet damage, pet speed, and coin. Okay, the ultimate XP is going to be really nice for ranking up our huges. 15 more shiny relics. More new free rewards in area 130, 135, and 146. New vending machines in these areas as well. The sixth clan battle, where we just have to complete the most clan quests, and this is the number one reward for the first place clan. And then here are a bunch of the new huge pets. So we got a new minigame pet, another new advanced fishing minigame pet, we got a rich cat found in the forever pack, the clover fairies from the St. Patrick's event every four hours, and then the alien Arknid is from the quest clan battle. And then these are secret pets. And it says secret pets aren't like any other pet Rebirth 5 required, so it looks like secret pets are going to be like random weird stuff like coin, lucky block, banana. Active huge egg gives a random huge pet from the active huge pets. These are used as very rare rewards. Okay, this is cool. You can just get an egg that gives you one of the three active huges. Watermelon fruit for extra bonus chance. Okay, nice. Fruit bundle where the watermelon is in there now. Better bundles. Ooh, new masteries for fishing, fruit, and pets. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to check out. New ultimates, lightning strike, hidden treasure, Greatly increases the chance of random drops when activated. This one might give the mini chest ultimate a run for its money. Okay, area quest. These are the new area quests. Adventurer store. Dude, how much stuff is in this update? Item jar event. Random item jars will drop. Here's the adventurer store. Here's a quest for one of the zones. Shiny chance bonus. If you hatch the same pet multiple times, the shiny chance for that pet increases. Okay, nice exclusive daycare and roll huges in titanics and roll huge in titanic pets for up to 30 days of real time every day you may claim diamonds that they farmed if you don't claim that day you will miss out on diamond remember to check back on your pet okay yeah this is crazy oh my gosh the claw machine is back too okay new exclusive egg heroes and villains titanic bat cat okay that's kind of cool oh and then you get like an iron man huge and a joker huge <laughs> okay this is a pretty cool egg i'm not gonna lie exclusive enchants global magnet collect coins loot bags and dropped items from anywhere and everywhere dude global magnet is gonna be insane hold on dude i have to get that Wait, whoa, the forever pack. Wait, what? So this is free, and then you have to buy this, and it just keeps going? Okay, so here's the new ultimate pack. Here's the new superhero egg. 
And here is Super Magnet. Okay, I feel like I gotta get a Super Magnet on my team. If you have a Super Magnet, you don't even need to use Magnet Flag. Dude, Super Magnet has gotta be the best enchant they've ever added. I can take off Magnet 3 and just put on Super Magnet, and then I never need a Magnet Flag. I can actually use really good flags, like Fortune, to get two and a half times more diamonds or something. Okay, well, let's go check out the new world. Oh, we already bought some of the new areas. Let's actually go and teleport there. And let's activate Rebirth number 5. I wonder if we have to go all the way back to the first world. I wonder how Rebirth number 5 works. Oh, okay, so we don't have to redo the entire first world, just the second world. Okay, that's nice. I didn't want to redo the entire first world, if I'm being honest. And then also, we can go up to rank number 24 now, which is kind of wild. Okay, so we already have tons of boost on. Let's put a little bit of extra boost on, just for the sake of farming a little bit better. All right, now we can start running through these areas pretty quick. So what are these green coins? Is this for the new same Patrick's Day event? I'm pretty sure that's what these new green coins are for. All right, let's get through all these new areas real quick, and then we'll figure it out. There's probably something that we can use these new green coins on. I just don't know what yet. Okay, so there's these quests for literally every area. So what do you get? You've unlocked an egg? Oh, I think I just unlocked an egg for opening up an area. Okay, so what happens if I do these quests in every little area? Zone 114 quests unlock? Oh, okay, so if you break 100 breakables, that just unlocks the quests for the area, so I don't even have the quest for the area done yet. Alright, well let me skip around through all of these areas and get to the new areas. Alright, here we are, area 124, this was the previous final area. And then here's where I just rebirthed, so I guess let's start checking out all of these new areas. Area 126. This is where you can get some new potions. Alright, nice. Tier 5's pretty good. Alright, let's go to area 127. Not much here. Area 128. Ooh, we got a new upgrade here. 10% ultimate XP boost. Nice. That's definitely gonna help. And then also, I forgot that we have new mastery. So how do you level up pets mastery? Oh, fuse machine animation speed, gold machine animation speed, rainbow machine animation speed. Yeah, you probably have to go and use the machines. Okay, that's not even bad though, because I hatched so much of the previous egg. Like how many pets do I have? I have 8 million frostbite huskies just regular ones alone. And then I have almost 4 million of these bats. I got 1.5 million golden frostbite huskies. Like, I have so much stuff to combine. 1.4 million rainbows. Okay, yeah, I need to go and actually hatch. I'm not really doing much damage anymore. So let's go to area 100. But first, I want to go to the gold machine, and I want to see just what this does to my mastery. Pets mastery reached level 2. Okay, that's it? So if I make hundreds of thousands of pets into gold, it barely increases the mastery? Hold on, I feel like I just wasted a bunch of my pets. Do you have to do like a little bit at a time? Like what if I do 190,000? Did that do anything? Okay, I feel like that barely gave me XP. Let me try this again. Let's do like 400,000 pets. Okay, that leveled me up a little bit. So let's try a bunch at a time now. Let's see if it makes a difference. Let's try like 6 million pets at a time. Okay, yeah, and we went up to level 8. So it is working. It's just a lot harder than I thought it would be. Okay, so we got an upgraded gold animation now. What are the final upgrade? Two times daycare speed, two times diamond loot from daycare, minus two pets required for rainbow, minus two pets required for gold, plus 1% chance to hatch rainbow pets? Okay, hold on. These are actually some pretty good final upgrades. So let me try the rainbow machine. This might give me a lot more XP. Okay, level 14, not bad. Okay, so let me claim my stuff from the daycare. And then let me put in these pets. Okay, so what else? Fruit mastery? This is pretty much, you, you just use your fruit. So if I'm just using fruit all the time, that should help my fruit mastery. Oh, okay, I got no eggs unlocked. Let's go down here to egg 144. 
and get some new pets. Oh yeah, these are way stronger. All right, we're gonna have to probably jump back and forth a few times. Let me farm in this area with the new pets, and then my pets are gonna start getting pretty weak here soon, and we're gonna have to go hatch again. All right, I'm gonna go back, hatch a few eggs, and then get back to farming. Okay, so what did we skip in these last couple areas? There's a shiny relic there. There's a new pet speed upgrade, free diamonds. Okay, and then way down here in area 138, here's where you get the new enchants. All right, I'm gonna leave my pets there, go and hatch. All right, yeah, and instantly our money's going up like crazy. We're way stronger just from hatching one time. All right, here's a really cool looking space area. I actually really like the designs of all these areas. Adventurer store. Oh, spend your quest medal. Oh, that's cool. So you go around, do all your quest in the areas and you can get free stuff from this adventurer. Here's an upgrade, extra coin. Let me auto farm all of my pets right here. Put down a magnet flag and go back and hatch. Yeah, now instantly my money's going up really fast. You just gotta go back and hatch a little bit. I'm not even using my best enchants for this, to be honest. Let me put on my coin enchants. Now we'll run through the areas like crazy. All right, so here's the new claw machine. Ooh, here's where you can get some bundles. Let me get those. Here's the new boss chest, area 147. Can I put my pets on the chest? The heck, can I put my pets on the chest? All right, so here's the exclusive daycare where you can put huge pets and stuff in here. Oh, okay, so different pets earn a different amount per day. And I think it has to do with the wrap of the pet. Like my Angelus is getting way more per day than like my Safari Dog would. So I think it has to do with the value of the pet. Okay, that's interesting. I'm not sure if I wanna put any of my huges in there right now, but it's still really cool. All right, gotta go back and hatch for a second. Okay, let's check out the rest of this map. There's some more free potions, and we're almost at the end here, area 148, area 149. Okay, so here's where you get the pet strength upgrade. Area 149's open, and then area 150 is where the next rebirth is going to be. And there's a shiny relic. All right, well, let me auto farm my pets here and go open up the final egg. All right, let's get some of these new best pets. Okay, so we get an extra 10% shiny chance when we're rehatching the same thing. I just saw extra shiny chance pop up. Okay, cool. Okay, so how good are my pets now? 4.39 billion, yeah. Way better than my previous pets. My previous best pet was 294 mil, and now 4.39 billion, and this isn't even anywhere near the best pet. Yeah, it's just a rainbow of the third one. All right, let me put a real loadout on. Let me see what I can do with this loadout. Let me try to actually hatch something really good. I'm gonna just hatch for a couple of minutes and see what happens. We need to get some of these new stat pets. All right, I think we hatched a couple thousand of these new pets and we got a rainbow jelly alien, which is quite a bit better, 5.17 billion. And we're also completing some quest by accident. I'm just randomly completing quest while I'm playing. All right, so the new final area is the alien lab. Let's go see how much we're getting. Ooh, I didn't even know about this new currency. They showed us these new gray and orange currencies, but what is this? I have one coin of something. I, I don't even know what. Okay, I'm gonna use a tier nine coins potion and a tier nine damage potion. All right, let's place down some TNT, a bunch of sprinklers, giant coin jar. I kind of want to get the new maximum amount of money but it's probably gonna take a minute. All right, everybody, I'm gonna have to turn my volume off to do the outro, because there's just so much stuff constantly popping up. But yeah, we kind of beat the update in terms of getting to the final area and getting some really good new stat pets. We can kind of just AFK the final egg forever now, especially if I got the new super magnet enchant. Then you don't even need to place magnet flags in the final area, which is super convenient. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this update, so comment down below what you guys want to see. There's a bunch of different things that I can make videos on in this new update, so whatever you guys want to see, just let me know down below. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not already. I will see you all in the next one very soon. Peace out, everybody.